cheap games, Xbox Live, and PSN codes, check out G2A in description and use the code ECHO at checkout. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is ECHO and welcome back today to the video you've all been waiting for, Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.14.0 is now available for iOS users. I'm here today on my iPad Air 2. Make sure you update your iPads, your iPhones, your iPods, and enjoy the latest update. Now I made this video just to announce that 0.14 is available. Also, a lot of you guys have been tweeting towards me saying, Echo, the update is now available. It's also available for Android users who have to back out of the beta to then update their device. So make sure you don't get confused there. But yes, the update is finally here. I'm briefly gonna use this video to go through some of the more important changes. However, later on today, I will have a full showcase of pretty much everything they introduced. And also, later on tonight, in approximately five hours from now, I'm gonna be live streaming 0.14.0 on Mob Crush. So make sure you check out the links down below and come and join us for an awesome adventure in my Let's Play world. So yeah, new things, new changes. I'm pretty happy about this. Make sure you guys go to the App Store, of course, and in the App Store, it will say an update. For example, it says more redstone components, comparators, repeaters, dispensers, droppers, hoppers, trap chest, and a variation, additional minecart types. And there's also a lot more things. A lot of things were introduced in this update. So the first thing I wanna cover in this video is if you go to skins, there is a new skin pack called the Redstone Specialist. You obviously get two free, you're welcome to use those skins, uh, or you can simply buy them for £1.49, which I think translates to around about $2. They're extremely cheap, but considering you can use your own skins, I definitely don't think it's needed. So let's go to play. I'm gonna create a custom flat world, but you can see here, Hypixel Pocket Edition is still on 0.13.0. .0. I don't entirely think we can load up the servers, um, but sometimes you can. I don't know if it's not gonna work for iOS users, but as you guys can see, it's trying to locate the server. That will not work. However, it looks like Lifeboat has definitely been updated to 0.14. So it looks like you can play Lifeboat, which is a bonus, meaning that you don't have to wait around for the servers to be updated. So let's go to play. I'm gonna go to new. I'm gonna go to advanced. We're gonna go to flat world and we are simply gonna create this world. So, the most important thing that was introduced in this update is if I go in here, this is the new menu. The creative menu now has survival in creative. It is so much useful. So, one thing you guys are really gonna enjoy is if I go in here, um, sorry, if I go in this one, we need to find ourselves the chests, obviously as the trap chest, this chest. You can in fact place down a chest and you can in fact open a chest. So if you wanted to transport your goods, such as, um, uh, torches you can put them in your chest and also the hot bar as well you can see we have empty spaces which is so much useful you can also throw these on the floor and of course you can pick them up they will throw them in a stack of 64 you guys will see that this is my inventory it shows them sorry this is my inventory it shows them as a stack of 64 but for some reason it doesn't show it as a stack of 64 when it's in your hot bar so that was really important and the next thing that's really important in this update that they did introduce is of course to do with maps they have introduced maps you are gonna require an anvil, so we are gonna need an anvil. I'm gonna place down an anvil. You're gonna need paper. Uh, sometimes it's confusing to find. I'm trying to remember where everything is. But we're also gonna need a compass as well, so I'm gonna grab myself a compass because you do need a compass for this to work. You also need the actual map itself. Where is the map? Where is the map? This is something I always get confused with is trying to find the map because it's an empty map that you need. Uh, there it is. So we need this. Now you have to create map. So as you guys can see, it says create map. So create map. This will then generate a map in your hotbar. So you can see here it's currently empty. You need to put this inside here with this, and this will create a map bringing the cursor, showing you exactly where you are. Remember that is important. You have to do this, that is important. Now if you wanna make your map even bigger, this is what you have to do for the meantime on Pocket Edition, because obviously manual crafting is coming to Pocket Edition. Uh, you need to grab yourself some paper. So grab yourself some paper. You need a total of eight, by the way. So put your map in there and then put eight pieces of these in here. This will make the map bigger. So if I click on this, I grab this, you guys can see the map is getting bigger. So remember that, but I will focus more on that in an in-depth video. What else was introduced? Well, there was a lot of things introduced. We did, of course, get the cauldrons as well. So let me grab myself the cauldron and briefly show you this. So we need to grab myself the cauldron. Where are you hiding? I'm not used to the menu yet. I'm still not used to it. I've been playing, there it is. We need this. So I place down this. You can also place dyes in here. So if I grab myself a bucket of water, and then I grab myself, say, a dye, whether it be 
Um, let's for example, let's give, an, let's give a color for example. Let's just say we are able to black. I can tap black on here and it would change the color, meaning that once I grab myself some leather, so let me grab myself some leather armor, a leather tunic, this will do. I can tap this, I now have the black armor, and of course you can put it on as well. So if you wanted to have a little bit of a look at yourself, you guys will see here that I now have this on, and it's absolutely amazing. You could also place potions in there as well. Something a lot of people think that's a great addition, you can place potions in here. So put that there, grab yourself any type of potion, which I have no idea where the potions are hiding in here. I always get mixed up. Potions, 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 potions. Where are you hiding? They're in here, aren't they? So if I grab myself, just say, the potion of water breathing, tap this on there, and obviously you can fill it up with the potion. So yeah, they've also introduced witches as well. Again, I'm briefly going through things here. I've got to try and remember where things are because I'm terrible at remembering some of these things. Um, there we go. All right, so we've got the witches as well. They've also got the exclusive mobs where baby, uh, such as, no, such as uh, baby zombies, zombie villagers, will ride animals such as pigs, cows, Oslots, and so much more. So that's all the things I want to show you in this video. Look out for a full showcase later on. Go and update your device. Have a great day. Stay beautiful. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Bye!